In the PS2 era, if you wanted to use cheats, you'd normally have to input a code into the system, and you can still do that when you're emulating using PCSX2. However, today I'm going to show you a different way that you can do it, and how you can activate cheats within the program. With PCSX2, you'll need to create a file for every single game that you want to use cheats for. These are saved as a .pnac file, and they'll be stored in the PCSX2 main directory within the cheats folder. To actually get the cheats though, a website that I would recommend is gamehacking.org. When here, go to the top and search for the game that you want to find the cheats of. In this example, I'm going to be using Rocky. Scroll down until you can find the PlayStation 2 titles, and there you'll find games within your search. These results show two versions of Rocky, an NTSC version and a PAL version. I have the European version of the game, so I'm going to click through to the PAL version initially. At this point, you need to make sure that you're using the same version that you have within your emulator. To find that out, go into PCSX2, right click on the game and then select Properties. Make sure that the serial number matches the one that you can see on the website and if they do match, then you know that the cheats are more than likely going to work. Back on the website now and if you come over to this box where it says Format, click on the drop down and make sure that you've selected PCSX2 PNAC files. Then change the selection from All to Checked. At this point scroll through the page and tick any of the codes that you want included within your cheats file. You can select all of them if you want to, but some codes are duplicated. For example, I'm going to choose Infinite Health for Player 1. Both selections are from Action Replay Game Shark and AR Max. I'm also going to scroll down and select Max Stamina and Open All Characters, both of these being from Action Replay and Game Shark. Once you're happy with your selection, scroll back up to the top of the page and press the download button. Once you've got your file downloaded, you may need to move it into the PCSX2 cheats folder, but once it's there, you also might need to rename it. If you do, go into PCSX2, click on the game's cover, and then select properties. Find this CRC code, highlight it, and then copy it. Open up your PCSX2 cheats folder and find the file that you've just downloaded. Right click, press rename and then paste the CRC number. It's at this point that the cheats should work if you was having problems. You'll also need to activate the cheats before you launch the game. To do that, once again right click on the game's cover, go to properties and then select cheats from the left hand side. Tick the box that says enable cheats and then tick the boxes that are next to any of the respective cheats that you've loaded into your file. When you're happy with your selection, just close this properties window and run the game. And that's how you can activate cheat codes within PCSX2. However, there might be times where you need to edit this cheats file. Go to the PCSX2 main directory and click on cheats. Click on the PNAC files that relates to the game that you want to edit the cheats of. So let's say that you've got two codes for one particular cheat. One of the codes is working and the other one isn't. Simply highlight it, backspace on your keyboard and remove it from the list. Then just save the notepad file. The cheats file will then update. Sometimes after editing cheats, they might not show up in PCSX2 straight away. To check this, right click on the game and select Properties. Then select Cheats from the left hand side. Then press the button at the bottom that says Reload Cheats. At this point, you should be able to enable them if they weren't already appearing in the list. So that's everything you need to know about activating cheats within PCSX2. If this video was helpful, leave it a like and feel free to share. While you're here, feel free to check out some of the other guides on the channel on PlayStation 2 emulation.